This video is about the Recar uh, full rotary hook sewing machines from late 70s, early 80s, right around in that area. Uh, this machine, uh, the way that it works is it has a timing belt, which is the source of the problem here, I'll show you. Um, the timing belt has a cleated belt. The cleats are these metal uh, pieces and they go into the corresponding uh, teeth of the gear so as the machine turns that's how it drives the gear below is the corresponding gear with the upper one you can see as it goes through the body there and it too has uh, teeth for the gear um, the lower shaft of the sewing machine goes across it moves the hook which is what forms the stitch and the feed dogs which pick up the fabric and move it through. The upper shaft here is where um, it actually drives the, the stitch length. All the patterns for the pattern cam for all these various stitches that uh, run off the machine. And it makes the uh, needle go up and down to pick up the thread. And it also moves the uh, take up lever and variety uh, other things here. So the problem with this machine is that this gear that they made, made these for are made of plastic and you'll see that there's a large crack in it that's coming up. So that crack is very, it's the end of this, this thing because when there's stress on it from the, from the cleat of the belt, it splits this crack apart and you can see that the cleat here is not lining up with the tooth and it will eventually pop back in. It'll either pop into the correct um, tooth or it'll jump a tooth. And then once it jumps a tooth, then it, the sewing machine's not gonna work. So because this belt is one piece, it's nylon with the metal cleats, you can't just put a new belt on and you can't just put a new gear on without taking the whole thing apart because the shaft goes all the way through the machine and is pinned in the uh, counterbalance there. And likewise on the bottom, the gear gets pretty close to the, the housing of the machine. So this is gonna have to be moved as well. And there's feed timing, there's hook timing, there is uh, up on the top is, um, the placement of all these pieces and parts are, they have to be perfect. So what I have to do is I'm gonna have to knock the, the pin out of this, uh, this counterbalance over here, this piece right there. I'm gonna have to knock that pin out. I'm gonna have to loosen the collars and the worm gear. I'm gonna have to uh, loosen also the, the eccentric for the uh, feed stitch length and then take the gear off and pull the whole shaft all the way out at least far enough to where i can get well it'll just have to come all the way out i think the lower one i might be able to uh, I, I think i can just uh push the shaft to the left enough to put the get the old gear off and the new one which means i'll have to take some things off but everything's gonna have to be retimed and everything's critical feed timing hook timing uh, zigzag timing, the pendulum swing, uh, all those things are going to have to be fixed. It's an expensive repair. I'm, I, you know, it's, uh, don't do them very often because there's a lot into it and you can, a lot of people can buy just a new machine for the price that it's going to take. The new gears, uh, are metal. They're not going to go bad. It's a different kind of a timing belt, an idler pulley. So all that's going to take a lot of labor. So I'm going to get started on it right now.